This is Miss Melton to talk about decimals. This large square has 100 smaller squares inside. There are 10 rows and 10 columns. How many squ small squares are shaded? So there's 100 total squares and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows are shaded. So that would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 small squares shaded. So how would I write that as a decimal? That's 60, so 0 and 60 hundredths. How many columns are shaded? Well, 6 columns. How would I write that as a decimal? 6 out of 10 columns, so that's 0 and 6 tenths. So let's compare the two decimals that we wrote above. 0 and 60 hundredths, 0 and 6 tenths. Well, 60 hundredths is like 60 cents, and 6 dimes is also 60 cents. So we can say they are equivalent. And remember, any time you have an empty place value spot, there is an invisible 0 there. So in front of the decimal and behind the decimal, there are invisible zeros. So 6, 0, 6, 0. How many columns or tenths are shaded? So for this one, there are one, two, three columns not shaded. I know there are 10 total. So that is seven columns. How many small squares or hundreds are shaded? Well, seven, 10 times is 70. How would I write these as decimals? I could write the tenths as 0 0.7, 0 and 7 tenths, and I could write the hundredths as 0 and 70 hundredths. And I know those are equivalent because 7 rows is the same as 70 hundredths. How many columns or tenths are shaded? Do I have a whole column shaded? No, I do not. So 0. How many small squares or hundredths are shaded? I have 7 out of 10. So that, how do I write that as a decimal? 0 0.07. And I had only part of 1, and that would also be 0 0.07, because the whole tenth is not shaded in. So let's try some more. <clears throat> now these are bigger than a hole. I have one hole here shaded, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 columns not shaded. So how would I write that as a decimal? If you said 1.6, you are correct. You could also write it as 1.60 because 1 and 6 tenths equals 1 and 60 hundredths. You try the next one, pause the video. 1, 2 holes, decimal, let's see, 1, 2, 3 whole rows, so that's 3, or columns, so that's 3 tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4 hundredths, 2 and 34 hundredths. Let's see if you can make, draw each of these and then decide which one is bigger. So pause your video and draw each decimal. So if you drew five tenths, you would need to have drawn five rows. One, two, three, four, five. And 70 hundredths are 70 little squares, or I could say seven rows would be 70 little units. So now I can see five tenths is less than 70 hundredths. Hundredths, tens, ones, tenths, hundredths. This is our place value chart that we made on other videos. You can practice making each of these, drawing them, and then also writing them as a fraction and a decimal. So 80 hundredths, I would have 80 little squares. That would be how many columns? Eight columns. So I should have only two left that aren't shaded. So that's how I need to be able to represent it. I need to be able to read it, write it as a decimal. 
80 hundredths, I mean, it, write it as a fraction and write it as a decimal. You try this next one, 16 hundredths. Did you write 16, did you draw 16 hundredths as one rod and six units? And then to write it as a, dec a fraction, 16 hundredths, write it as a decimal, 0 0.16. You have two more left. Try both of those. Five hundredths, you should have five small squares. Two, three, four, five. Oops, did a little bit too much. There we go. And to write that five hundredths, to write it as a fraction, five out of a hundred equals 0 0.05, because the hundredths is two places away from the decimal. And the last one, 42 hundredths would be four rods and two one hundredths. To write that as a fraction, it is 42 over 100, 42 hundredths equals 0 0.42. Hopefully you got all of those correct. Now, you want to be able to drag the standard form or we're gonna match it up to the matching word form. So see, pause the video, see if you can match them all correctly, and then I'll show you your answers. So first, 12 and 3 hundredths. So 12 is in the whole, and then 3 hundredths. Four and 65 hundredths. So four is the whole, and then 65 is the decimal. 19 hundredths, so no holes. Zero and 19 hundredths. 12 and 3 tenths, and practice saying them too. Three, this is the tenths place, so 12 and 3 tenths, not 12 and 3 hundredths. 40 and 65 hundredths, so 40 is the whole, 65 is the decimal, 65 hundredths. 1 and 9 tenths, 1 and 9 in the tenths place, 6 tenths, so no holes, so 0. And then six and six hundredths. Six holes and six hundredths. Did you get tricked? Now, match these decimals with the base 10 blocks so you can draw them out with base 10 blocks. And then write your decimal form. So seven tenths would be 0 0.7. Now you try the next ones and then pause the video and when you're ready, you can check with your answers. 70 hundredths, you should have written. 0 and 70 hundredths, 5 hundredths, 0 0.05, remember hundredths is two spaces after the decimal, 30 hundredths, so I write 30 hundredths, 3 tenths, tenths is right after the decimal, 1 and 2 tenths, so I have a whole, 1 and decimal, 2 tenths, and then 5 and 3 hundredths, so I have no tenths, so I need to put a zero there. Now, do you notice anything about these numbers? Seven tenths, 70 hundredths, 30 hundredths, three tenths. If you said they are equivalent, you are correct. They are equal. Three rods for three tenths and 30 hundredths is equivalent. Same with seven tenths and 70 hundredths. Now, you can also do expanded notation, expanded form, just like we do with regular place value numbers. You can do expanded form with decimals. So this is five holes, so five plus 0 0.7. So I take each number out and I write it as its value. So this number is seven holes, so I put seven. There are no tenths, so I do not need to write anything, but there are six hundredths, so I write six hundredths. Do not forget that zero in the tenths. No holes, so I don't need to write that, but eight tenths plus four hundredths. Making sure I put a zero in the tenths place here. And then try the last one on your own. Pause the video. You should have gotten 20, make that separate, plus one, plus there's no tenths, so then one hundredth. Those zeros can really drive you crazy. 
Now you try some on your own and see if you are correct in writing expanded notation. Pause your video and press play when you're ready for the answers. Three plus two tenths plus nine hundredths. Two plus five tenths plus three hundredths. Four plus five tenths plus two hundredths. Eight tenths plus five hundredths. One plus three tenths. Now you can practice making your own decimal, write it in standard and expanded form.